Hi guys, so this is part two of my mini mangrove ecosphere. I've waited um, um, like uh, three days to be exact until I made this video. Why is that? You might ask because sometimes it, sometimes it takes a few days for things to grow a bit and so yes things did grow during these three days and it's amazing there's a tiny little plant i think it's a kind of algae growing on the seagrass already so that i think it will become really really big with the following days so these kind of snails i really love them they look absolutely beautiful and they don't need much to live they can uh, feed on the seagrass which you see I think they're already eating it and they're really really beautiful so and look at those antennas the, this ecosphere I think it will do great it doesn't has a lot of couple pods but as I say that a couple pods just jump out over there and so these snails are tiny so this is my finger and yeah they're really good for tiny ecospheres like these they don't require much to live so if you happen to live in the mongo beach and you want to make ecospheres you better pick up these kinds uh, of snails i love these kinds because yeah they're beautiful they're everything you want in an ecosphere and they're really amazing to watch they aren't actually slow this this little one just crawled from all the way on top just over there in just over a minute so yeah it's crawls fast so it's actually pretty interesting to watch if you got the time so these this kind of ecospheres is like basically the kind that you can leave in the dark and you can take them out and look at them if you want to and yeah these i i really like these smaller ecospheres because they don't need um a lot of care it's really easy to make and it's easy to maintain the um hatch the cover of this ecosphere is actually pretty good it has a opening with holes to for the air to get through so um, I don't have to worry about the plants dying, but yeah, it's a pretty good ecosphere. So thank you. Goodbye